What's going on guys? It's NY Prepper here. In this video we're going to do a patterning test with some double out buckshot at long distances and I'm going to shoot these two different shotgun loads at 25, 50 and 100 yards and we're going to see what kind of patterns we get with this double out buckshot at long ranges of 25, 50 and 100 yards. So what you have here on the right is just some basic double odd buckshot. This is Federal Power Shock. Uh, this is a nine pellets, two and three quarter inch, 1325 feet per second double odd buckshot. And this is actually buffered as well, okay? And the buffering is supposed to help keep the groups a little bit tighter, the pattern a little bit tighter. So this represents your basic double odd buckshot that most people are familiar with. And we're going to compare that to the federal flight control buckshot. Okay, this is the federal law enforcement tactical buckshot. And this actually has less recoil than your standard buckshot. Um, it has a little bit slower velocity, believe it or not. It has a velocity of... 1,145 feet per second versus the traditional buckshot has 1,325 feet per second. So this is actually a, a, a lot milder. It has almost 200 feet per second slower velocity. But what makes this unique, this buckshot here, is that it has the flight control wad, which you can see a picture of here. And this flight control wad, it, it basically holds the pellets together in the air, okay? Um, and so what happens is, after a certain amount of distance, um, I think around like 10 yards or 20 yards, this, this flight control wad is separated from the pellets. And what that does is it helps keep the pellets together for a longer distance, okay? It, it functions kind of like a very tight choke. And um, this is also double lot buckshot. It's two and three quarter inch, nine pellets. All right. So both of these have the same number of pellets. They're both two and three quarter inch. But this one on the left has the special fl federal flight control wad. And this one doesn't. This is just your basic double lot buckshot. So in this video, we're going to see what kind of patterns we get with both of these shotgun shells and we're gonna see how they do at longer distances 25 yards 50 yards and 100 yards okay I'm really curious to see how these perform at 50 yards um, this is gonna be a very interesting test and the gun that we're gonna be using today is my Remington 870 pump shotgun okay and it has a uh, cylinder bore barrel okay it has no choke on it at all it's just a straight pipe it's a cylinder bore so there's no chokes on this thing at all okay so that's the gun that we're using it has an 18 inch barrel and um, let's get to shooting and see what happens Alright guys, this was our first shot with the two and three quarter inch Federal Power Shock double odd buck shot. And it has nine pellets and this was at 25 yards. And you can see pretty decent spread at 25 yards. Uh, we had seven pellets hit the target here in center mass area. We have one here, two, three, four, 
five, six, and seven. So we had seven pellets hit the center mass area at 25 yards with standard two and three quarter inch double lot buckshot from Federal, and that's a buffered buckshot as well. So it helps a little bit with the grouping. So now we're gonna try the Federal Law Enforcement Flight Control and see how much tighter that one is. And that has that flight control wad, which is supposed to keep the patterns a lot tighter. So we'll see how that does at 25 yards. And then we're going to go on to 50 yards and see what happens at 50 yards. And then potentially even 100 yards. We'll see if how many pellets we can hit at 100 yards. So stay tuned. All right guys, so here's the results from the Federal Law Enforcement Flight Control. Two and three quarter inch, nine pellets. That's got the flight control wad. This is at 25 yards. You could see the duct tape here. This was the uh, regular Federal Power Shock. I had to duct tape the holes to cover them up so we don't get confused. And here you can see that how much tighter the grouping is here from that flight control wad. All nine pellets stayed on target and the spread was very tight. Um, and again, that's with a cylinder bore shotgun, so no choke at all. Just a straight pipe. Um, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So all nine pellets stayed on the target. I was aiming in the upper chest area here. So most of the pellets stayed in this area, which is really good. So very tight grouping with the Federal Flight Control at 25 yards. And I'm just gonna measure the spread with, with a tape measure for you guys so you can see how tight the group is. All right guys, so I got my tape measure here. We got the widest spread between pellets is 10 inches. But I would say most of the pellets are about six to eight inches spread. All right, at 25 yards, so that's pretty good. That's a pretty good spread, you know. So we got this one pellet out here, but most of them, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of the pellets stayed in about a six to eight inch zone at 25 yards, so that's pretty good. And if you compare that to the standard buckshot that doesn't have the flight control wad, you can see the spread is much larger. You know, you're looking at probably over a foot. Let me see right now. Got about, you know, 14 inch spread here. Okay. Probably about a, a good 14 inch spread with the regular buckshot versus about six to eight with the flight control at 25 yards. So it's a pretty big difference there. So now we're gonna go out to 50 yards and see what happens at 50 yards just for fun. But either of these buckshot would be good for, you know, self-defense at 25 yards. These would be fine. Uh, but the flight controls definitely, you know, has an advantage here. Um, so let's see what happens at 50 yards.
All right, guys. So here's the 50 yard target. We just took a shot with the Federal double lot buck, the standard double lot buck. And you could see the grouping is really bad here at 50 yards. You could see there was only three pellets on target. We have one up here. We have one here. All right, and then we have one over here. So we only hit three pellets on the target. And that was at 50 yards. So, and that's just with standard double odd buckshot, no flight control wad. All right, so you got one up there, second one there, and third one there. So, and then the rest of the pellets, I don't know where they went. So now we're gonna try the flight control and see what happens with the flight control. Um, I was actually aiming in the center here, all right? So, uh, you know, I guess this one pellet would have stopped the guy. Um, so let's see what happens with the flight control. Hopefully it'll be a little bit tighter. All right, guys, we got some pretty impressive results with this Federal flight control. This is just standard two and three quarter inch double out buckshot, but it has that flight control wad. This is at 50 yards, and we actually made uh, seven pellets on target, and six of the pellets were actually in some of the vital zones and in the area where I was aiming at. All right, so if you remember the standard two and three quarter inch buckshot without the flight control wad, only three pellets made it on target at 50 yards. There was one pellet up here, one pellet here, and one pellet there, okay? And that was just a standard two and three quarter inch buckshot. So only three of the nine pellets made it on target at 50 yards. But here with the flight control, you can see we have one pellet here, we have one pellet there, third pellet down here, fourth pellet, fifth pellet, and sixth pellet. So we had six pellets here in the vital zone, okay, in the center mass area. I was aiming right in the center here, and we had one pellet right there. There's the second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, and sixth one right down there. All right, so pretty good results with the federal flight control and again you know this is 50 yards so that's pretty impressive and we had one all the way up here one stray pellet up here and then two pellets didn't hit the target at all so six out of the nine pellets that's two-thirds of the pellets stayed in the center mass area at 50 yards so that's actually pretty impressive and uh, I'm gonna actually see if I can get you guys a measurement here um, of the spread okay so the widest spread is gonna be about 18 inches and that's from the extreme pellet at the top by the neck area and then the one pellet down here in the liver area it's about an 18 17 inch spread um, and uh, let's see going from left to right you know you're looking at about a 10 inch spread so that's not too bad guys, that's not too bad at all. Six pellets on target in the vital zone at 50 yards with the Federal Flight Control. So that's pretty impressive. Much better than the standard buckshot, which only three pellets made it onto the actual cardboard. And two of them uh, missed the target altogether. We only had one pellet go into the vital area here. Okay, only one pellet made it into the vitals. Uh, the two other pellets that actually hit the target itself missed our bad guy and went over his shoulder um, up here by his head and then uh, outside of his shoulder here, okay? So 
huge difference between the flight control and the regular bug sh buckshot. Obviously, you're not going to be using buckshot at 50 yards, but with this federal flight control, it gives you that capability if you want to go out to 50 yards. In a worst case scenario, you're still going to be hitting your target with a good amount of shot pellets um, versus regular buckshot. You pretty much have to stay inside of 25 yards to actually hit any kind of vital zones. All right. So I think what I'm going to do now just for fun, I'm going to put this target out at 100 yards and we'll see if we can get any pellets on target at 100 yards with the uh, with the buckshot. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we're at 100 yards now, and I don't see any pellets except this one right here. Looks like we hit one pellet right in the bad guy's arm. I was aiming in the center here. I don't see any other holes here on the target. I don't see anything. It's just this one hole here. That's it. So... Still not bad for a hundred yards. That one pellet probably would have hurt his arm a little bit. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.